Chess friends, it's an incredible feeling when a supercomputer sacrifices a piece against a super GM and wins against him. Our super GM is nobody but Magnus Carlsen and supercomputer is Alpha Zero and Stockfish, Leela Zero and Dragon. Today I sacrificed my kingside rook against Magnus, so, let's go, I started with a4, I am gonna bring my rook, Magnus says, ok do your best, rook up to h3, well it's a mistake move and don't try this in your games to show off your opponent because you are not stockfish. You are just a little fish, couple of weeks ago I sacrificed my rook in the queen side, but that's the another thing, now I am gotta face troubles on my king side, Magnus takes the rook, knight takes h3, we have e5, this rook odds game is quite difficult for me, first of all Magnus is targeting on this pawn, my job is to make a defensive structure to prevent black attacks, or maybe or not maybe I can play c4 and d4, and black's job is to activate all of his pieces, gain more space and center, I played g3. Knight f6, bishop g2, knight goes to c6, Magnus can play like this, to castle his king on queen side, so he can attack me on king side, I play d3, I want this, to pin the knight, so, h6, knight goes to d2, it is called small center, here you can play c4, bishop comes here to c5, I slide the king over, rather than castling on the queen side I want to secure my king on this king fumetto, Magnus smiles and he do castle in king side and he says, stockfish you a fool, now you can't attack me on king side, yes you are right, so, a3, let me attack on your queen side, Magnus says, nope, face my 2900 elo rated move, e3, Magnus backs his bishop on e7, maybe his idea is to play knight here, then c5, we have before, pawn takes d3, pawn takes, Magnus strikes the queen side with a5, b5, knight jumps into e5, targeting this, so, knight f4, try to protect this pawn, if you think g5 will remove the knight position from protecting the pawn, let me show the variation, if g5 happen, then takes and takes, targeting the knight, so d4, will target your two knights, so knight back to g6, takes, takes, and these two ugly looking pawns, I will push my e pawn, takes, takes, I will get the diagonal for my bishop, and the position will be very bad because your king position is cramped, so, in this position, we have c6, I played bishop here to target your knight first, bishop d6, a4, rook slides to e8, I move my king to g1, pawn takes, takes, queen here, queen up to b3, bishop to b4, targeting on this pawn and the knight at the same time, so, knight goes to f3, targeting the knight with two pieces, we have knight to g4, Magnus Carlsen's strategy is to play, bishop c5, then sacrifice the knight by taking the f-pawn, if king takes f2, then rook takes e3, with the supporting of the bishop, you can think rook takes d3, to target the queen with a discover check, but the brilliant move is rook takes knight, if king takes rook happen, then queen to g4, every squares will be covered. That means your king have no square to go, that means it's a checkmate, so, I moved back my knight to eliminate the knight, Magnus says, nope, knight to g5, knight to f3, I am threatening to take the knight, and you know what, you can't take the knight, because after bishop takes, my bishop will target your f6 knight, so queen comes here to protect this, I will take your knight anyway, queen takes, then I will get the white diagonal for my bishop, which will be bad for you. After pushing d pawn and stabilizing the structure, so, in this position, Magnus played knight here, the same tactic he makes again, knight, bishop, and the rook combination tactic, so, I played knight to h2, Magnus will not back his bishop otherwise it will be a draw, so knight takes knight, I played bishop takes f6, if you think knight g4 is the best move, rather than taking the bishop, but if you really interested to play knight g4, then bishop d4, then bishop to h4, try to pin the knight to the queen, f4. Then move back your bishop to target the pawn to give a check, king up to h7, then bishop to e6, targeting the queen with the supporting of the knight, queen slides of the way, then bishop takes f5 check, king back to h8, move your knight to g4 to give a potential check, and it will be mate in 5 moves because the queen's line is on there, bishop will give a discover check to the king, and the game will be over, 
don't be confused with my arrow line, if you don't want to lose against stockfish, then don't play with him, if you don't play with stockfish then you will never lose against him, Magnus takes the bishop, because he calculates all the stockfish moves because he is a stockfish subscriber, so, chess friends, like and subscribe the channel to become more sharp and intelligent at chess, king takes h2, we have d4, I play d4, making a key center structure, Magnus wins a pawn by playing queen takes b5, knight here to target this pawn, so king up to g7, queen back to d1. Threatening to play queen g4 check, if king high happen, then queen h5 to target this, if you play king h7 to protect this pawn, then the killer move queen takes f7 check, king backs, knight takes pawn, and you will lose your game, you can't stop me from checkmate, so rook up to a6, try to protect the 6th rank, we have queen g4 check, king backs, knight c7, giving a 200 elo rated triple frock to Magnus Carlsen, queen slides to e5, knight takes rook, pawn takes, bishop h3, rook to b8, rook ups, bishop c3, queen back to d1, queen b5, queen here to target this, so king here, bishop f5, queen b1 to target this, rook e2, queen c1, Magnus blunders the game, best was to play rook b2 to eliminate this rook, we have e5, to target this pawn, Magnus takes it, after rook takes pawn, I am threatening to play queen g4 check, king backs, then bishop here to give a checkmate, and you cannot stop my checkmate, so, in this position, Magnus holds his breath and takes a last chance by playing rook to b1, I played queen g4 check, king here, rook to e6 check, sacrificing a another rook, after pawn takes, I will get only two pieces to checkmate Magnus, if I can't do it, then Magnus will checkmate me in one move, that's the last hope of Magnus, ok, we have pawn takes rook, Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.